You've got to tune to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us at kexp.org, streaming worldwide. I'm Cheryl Waters in the KEXP studios with me today. It's Raina Maria. Welcome. Thank you. This is a very exciting event for us and also very exciting that you've got a brand new record out called ST. You got to start us off with a song from that? Absolutely.
Rainer Maria live in the KEXP studios, songs from their new album, ST. It is such a pleasure to have you here. That's actually quite an understatement. Thank you so much for coming. Our Thank you pleasure. so much for having us. There is so much great music out there to enjoy, and music is so powerful, but there really is something about hearing a band that you love, that you thought that you might never get to see live again, and uh, here you are with a brand new record sounding as amazing as ever. Um, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Those are nice words. I know that um, you all got your start in Madison, Wisconsin, and have a family of bands, and you have your... Uh, label family as well. I think of you also uh, very much as a New York band. That's where I actually first saw you live. And um, you kind of spent a lot of time as a band over a decade ago in Brooklyn, a very different Brooklyn at that time. And uh, I know that you have a close relationship with North Six, um, now Music Hall of Williamsburg. And I was lucky enough to see you there. That was actually a practice space, I understand, at the time. Yeah, we had our practice space above North Six, so that we definitely called that a, a, a home. It was a kind of home for us, knowing all the people there, bands that came and went. It was a pretty special time, I think, in, in Brooklyn at that time. You were together for 10 or 11 years as a band and then decided to take a break. I don't know if you thought of it as a break then or maybe an end. And you all went off to do some really cool and interesting things that I imagine were very rewarding. Uh, Caitlin, I know you released some solo music, which Kaya helped produce and engineer at least one of your solo albums, and then you were all over <laughs> Kaya's solo release and William doing quite a bit of globe trotting. Kaya, you as well. Um, I'm wondering if you can just talk a little bit about that very fruitful time um, between the time that you kind of stopped making music as a band and now. Yeah, sure. I mean, we all sort of uh, I mean, we had lived our adult lives in in the in Rainer Maria up until that point, so it was a really great moment um, for us to all see what else was going on, both musically or otherwise. Um, so I went to grad school and learned uh, the Tibetan language and have been working as a Tibetan translator in the meantime, and William traveled extensively in the Middle East and elsewhere and stayed in the music game. It was amazing to come back. Both my bandmates had been playing music so much, and it was like instant. I mean, everyone was already so wonderful, and it was like instant upgrade, band member upgrade, for, for me at least. I was like, wow, okay. I'm sure you learned a lot of things that you brought back to this current project, and I know it was a few years ago that you came back together and started playing shows. I'm curious what those first rehearsals were like, you know, after that time apart. I, and it was very similar to how the band started. We had talked a few times once we were living back in New York, and we said, hey, why don't we get together and play some music in a rehearsal space. And that was how the band originally formed. It was like, hey, we're friends. We're, we all like to play music. Let's start playing music together. Um, we didn't have any preconceived notions of, you know, certainly not recording and releasing an album, much less, you know, playing out. Um, so we got together and we wrote, I think, really fast. I mean, maybe like five or six songs very quickly. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, this is great. This is fun. Let's see where, you know, this can go. And we you know, had a couple offers come in and we uh, ended up playing New Year's Eve 2014 at Bowery Ballroom was our first show back. And William, I understand that you produced this album. Um, tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, again, it wasn't something that we set out or, you know, had planned. We had talked to a couple people um, about production and, you know, we continued to write and my bandmates approached me and said, hey, um, why don't we keep this in the family like the old days and why don't you produce the album? So, um, you know, it was, it was really easy to work with my bandmates um, as mm -hmm. far as, you know, working with a band, being a producer, I couldn't think of an easier, more enjoyable situation because they're both so talented and we've been working together, you know, on and off for 20 years at this point, so we speak the same language. So it was really easy to kind of, you know, fit all the parts together, and not only my vision, but everyone else's vision, um, to kind of like satisfy and uh, realize what uh, everyone was trying to get out of the band and trying to create. It's been a while since you've been in Seattle, so it's great that you're out on the road. Of course, you want to get this music out to people, but you toured quite a bit um, back in the day. Do you feel like you have to find a little bit more balance now and maybe not spend your life out on the road? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I think we all have our other 
things going on, personal and, and creative and, um, you know, even business-wise. So it, every show is such, I'm so grateful for it that, you know, I, I can truly step on the stage and think, this is special, this may never happen again in this city with these um, wonderful friends and musicians. So I don't take a single second for granted. That being said, we do, we do get loopy and like have all the, the fun things that we normally would do on tour, which basically involves going to bed as soon as we hit the sheets, yeah. and that's about as much fun as we have. Is it, I mean, I think when you're, uh, as a young band, you just have this sense of the kind of like, interminability, like you just, things can go on forever, whereas uh, coming back a little older, I'm like, wow, any one piece of our lives can move and all this, all this context that's come together to make this happen can go away. And so it's, it's so precious, really, to come back and do it. Well, I'm glad you're keeping all those balls in the air and they've brought you to Seattle today. Tonight, Raina Maria are gonna be playing at Numo's here in Seattle. Highly recommend you head out and see that show. And we'd love to hear more music. What have we got next? This song is called Artificial Light. on KEXP. Tonight they play at Numo's here in Seattle. And one more song, I believe, from the new album, ST. Uh, Kate, do you want to say something about this song? We're going to play a song called Forest Mattress. Um, you know, there were, there were so many great moments in the studio, uh, yeah, in the recording studio. I think it's really fun to go in there and try, and, you know, we have this sort of new, but it's 
but it's all of us still voice. So I think this one we particularly tried to kind of push what we had already done, sort of challenge ourselves, me especially vocally. So it's really fun to play out. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> live on KEXP. There seems to be so much joy among the three of you when you play. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful to be, have this like body awareness performing with two other people. It's pretty special, yeah. 
<laughs> it feels really special. They're playing tonight at Numos here in Seattle and a fantastic new record on polyvinyl called ST. Thank you again so much. What a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Everyone the pleasure's all ours. <laughs> Thank you. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.